the Quantum Waltz focuses on the problem of using three qubit gates in quantum circuits. They are commonly used in arithmetic or programmatic applications, such as the Kakaro adder or the multi-control Toffley gate. In this talk, we focus on the Toffley gate, which uses two control qubits and one target qubit. This gate changes the value of the target qubit, swapping the populations of the zero and the one state when both of the controls are in the one state. In today's superconducting devices, we usually have to decompose the Toffley gate into at least 14 gates, which takes an estimated time of 2,105 nanoseconds in our model. This is an expensive process and is error prone due to the number of gates, but it is done since it is difficult to interact three quantum devices with each other across two different couplers. However, the quantum waltz uses higher energy levels of a device, specifically the fourth level, to enable native execution of three qubit gates by using a quantum device in the Q-court space and a quantum device in the qubit space to interact the quantum data of three qubits across one coupler with an estimated time of 412 nanoseconds. Quantum devices often has access to higher energy levels, potentially any number. When we access the two state, it is called the Q-trit, and when we access the three state, it is called Q-court. Each extra state opens us up to more computational space per physical quantum device. With access to the fourth level of quantum device, it becomes possible to combine the data of two two-level qubits into a single four-level Q-quart device through a compression gate. This gate is reversible and the qubits can be de decoded without loss of data, separated into two qubit devices later on. So how do we use a three-qubit gate? In traditional quantum population, we route all qubits into a line, execute the Toffley gate decomposition, and then continue our compilation as needed. If we want to take advantage of the higher energy level implementations of the Toffley gate, we route the qubits as we would before, but we'll replace the expensive decomposition process with an encoding gate before the native Toffley gate, then a decode gate once we've, once we've finished executing the Toffley gate. This is a process which only uses three gates and takes 1612 nanoseconds, reducing the chance of error. However, not all configurations of qubits on Q quartz are created equal. Due to encoding order, the configuration that allows for two control qubits to be encoded together in a single q quart and the target qubit to be alone in a qubit is much faster than other configurations. This makes writing a compiler somewhat difficult. Through careful decomposition and compiler heuristics, we are able to effectively map and route several three qubit ba gate based circuits and found their fidelity via simulations. We found that our methods greatly improved fidelity when compared to qubit based compilations and matched or exceeded strategies that attempted to execute native three qubit gates across two couplers as well. Come to the talk on Wednesday, June 21st, session 8A to find out more.